hello lovelies it is the first science exam tomorrow so in a few hours time you'll be sitting down to start GCSE biology paper one so this is what you should be doing now I'm putting this out at lunchtime, so a few of you might still be at school because you haven't started study leave, but if you're not seeing this until after school then there is still lots of great advice in here. So we want to be doing a paper to get ourselves in the frame of things to hopefully reassure you that you're really really good at this. If you've done all the papers from the example then in the description down below is a link to the predictive papers that I've written just for this year's exams based on the advanced information now once you've done that you can use the monk schemes to check and see how you're doing if there's any gaps that you need to fill in once you've done that you can go and watch the whole topic video again i've modified some of these to match the advanced information and they're actually not as long it was literally heartbreaking deleting so much great science from all of these videos because well you don't need to know it for this year's exams but please make sure you have revised the right stuff we still have time we're not actually in the exam yet so check that you haven't skipped any parts of revision that you need to do because you misinterpreted the advanced information so go and look at that and make sure you have actually done the right revision the worst thing that you can do is to stay up really really late trying to cram as much stuff in as possible and not get any sleep after a certain point you do have to stop revising take down the stress levels start doing some more low-key stuff which is why watching the, the, the whole topic video is a great thing for you to do because it's really low-key low stress revision it will slowly sink in as you're watching it as long as you're paying attention don't like completely zone out but do not stay up all night trying to cram extra things in do not sit there trying to read your revision guide thinking that it will sink in it won't please go to bed at a reasonable time now i'm going to say nine o'clock I know lots of you do not think this is a reasonable time, but I'm not asking for this for the rest of your life. I'm just asking for this for the next few weeks. The night before an exam, just go to bed early, nine o'clock for me, okay? And then the next morning, make sure you wake up with enough time so that you know where you're going, when you're going, what exam you're going to. Every single year, we get students who have turned up to the wrong place for the wrong exam, at the wrong time please make sure you know which exam you're going to and where you're going and actually what time it starts have something really really sensible for breakfast so the worst thing for a teacher for me is to have a student come up to me in the morning and exam going miss i stayed up till three o'clock revising while eating like a sharing bag of skittles that is not a good thing to be doing go to bed early have a sensible breakfast toast Weetabix, bananas, I know it's all really, really boring stuff, but it's good for you. I'm not asking you to do the good and the boring thing for the rest of your life. I'm asking you to do it just for these few weeks for your exams. It is these kind of like little, little things that will have a massive impact on how well you do in your exams. But you probably won't notice that they've had a massive impact. If you eat a massive bag of Skittles, as you're going into the exam on the way to school or Mars Bowl or whatever it is that you fancy, you will crash, you will have a sugar crash in the middle of the exam and this will be at the worst possible time for you. So you want lots of slow release carbohydrates, all the sensible stuff that you're supposed to eat. Please just eat it tomorrow morning for me, okay? Sensible breakfast, early to bed, sensible breakfast. Please do not stay up all night stressing and revising. Please leave your phone downstairs and put it on silent because you know somebody will message you or message the group to say, um, did you revise this bit? And maybe you did, maybe you didn't. You don't need that stress in your life at the moment, so just ignore it. And also on the morning of the exam, somebody will come up to you and say the same thing. I don't understand the difference between this and this. Can you explain it to me? 
chances are that stressing and overreacting, please just ignore the stressors. You know who they are because these people do it the morning of every single exam. Please just ignore the people that will stress you out in the morning and not put you off on the way to the exam. So if it is about lunchtime for you, then please um, go and try a paper, go and watch a whole topic video, maybe do some flashcards if you've got some flashcards. Um, relax, go to bed early, get up tomorrow morning and eat a sensible breakfast and make sure you know where you're going when. Um, I will be on the chat um, straight after the exam, so please come tell me how you did, what you thought, um, are we desperate to know what questions were on the exam, because I'm always desperate to know what questions were on the exam. Um, good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.